for those of you who don't know about Azuki, like he, he's one of the original pioneers, the, the, one of the many contributors that created not only this location we're in. Back in the day, yeah. it was down to Nuzo, I think, and Tempo. Yeah. They first started dropping pieces yeah. all around here. Yeah. And, um, you know, he, he really kicked up. Like a lot of other writers, we all started coming down here as well and just start claiming streets, basically, yeah. one by one. And it goes, it's about a mile square all the way around. So it's all square and every wall covered, huh? You've got a main Stratford Road there. Yeah. See that apparent building? Yes, yeah. It goes on all over there as well. Wow. And then into the city centre. But the the idea of Graf in the city, the, the, the Birmingham style, the look, we need to take it back. We need to go back from source and where okay. it began for you. Okay, bro. <clears throat> I started Graf about 86, mm. 85. I was kind of getting turned on to hip hop. Yeah. And um, just finding my part in the whole thing. Yeah. I couldn't break. Yeah. I didn't have the clothes. Yeah. Didn't have the equipment really to to um, do DJing and stuff like that, yeah. which I absolutely love now. Yeah. But I was always artistic, so yeah. Graf was the one for me. So yeah. I started properly about '86. Yeah. Um, where I lived in Sparkbrook, they had the writers' bench there. Yeah. Where United Bad Art. Um, all city art would meet. They were like gods to me back gods, then. Gods, yeah. Yeah, they and still are, man. Yeah. The most humblest guys you'll ever meet in your life. It's true style masters. Yeah. And then across the road, you had Walford Road and the Waldorf Picture House where yeah. the style kings used to meet up. And that they, they were like some of my, my, my oldest and lifetime friends. Still to this day? Still to this day. Yeah, I mean, Zed. Zed's in TWC now. Me and Zed joined TWC at the same time. He he proper schooled me. You know, uh, before the time when I met them, I didn't I didn't even know what Subway Art was, yeah. you know. That's I, crazy. I seen bits of graph on, like, Equalizer and stuff like that, and, you you know, yeah. you turned on to stuff like that. But they kind of schooled me on stuff, the do's and don'ts of graph. Yeah. And, um, yeah, man, you know... It was in the best days. Yeah, yeah. The, the <laughs> I that wild. question, yeah. I mean, we, we were so young. When I look back, when I look back at, at us back, at, back in them days, I mean, you must have felt this as well. I mean, the, with the rise of, like, hip-hop, all of us kids, we felt part of something that was real. Yeah. I mean, everyone yeah. was against graffiti writers. Yeah. Nobody really had time for us. Yeah. But, like... For me personally, and for a lot of us, it was almost like a fight. We're not, we're not going to go down. We're going to mm. keep painting. Mm. And today, it's, it's social accepted in a lot of places. In a lot of ways. Yeah, big time. Even by the, even by the people that you know, the, the organisations that were trying exactly, to shut it brother. down. Yeah, man, it's true. <laughs>